the choco chick is inside the prismarium, it's yours to the keep. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Choco Chick running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, Liza, don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. That does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in lilikin form. The best way to learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. There's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a guinea golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board.
Chicks, come along for a stroll. Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing and the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong to And so when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. Huh. Wait. Now that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. This one's not very cute. Mon! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please! Already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. 
Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little, and then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silk. Yes, the sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got so here from the outside yeah, world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience hey. crossing between planes. over at North Promenade. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocoboco Lina! Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolatte! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco cheese! is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco Connection. So, hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphine. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. 
hoarding. Hoarding? Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums, more than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh yeah, this prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. You should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leading us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Huh? Down. But, she but why are you going now? Oh, well, somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? I, I've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light vanishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. Hasta <laughs> la vista. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's an girl for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? It's me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Yeah. 
Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh... was a good fight. All oh, right. Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it! so bad. <laughs> 